previously on Transmissions from Colony 1. Paul Kirsch has volunteered to become pilot of this mission, and I've accepted. I'm going. It was my idea. It was my call. Sam doesn't want me to go, but he realizes that I need to go. Paul, despite our profound personal misgivings, our very survival is ensured. A magnetic guidance network. A grid of magnets perfectly placed in this valley, 330 kilometers to the northwest. We send the capsules down in batches, making sure that adjacent sections of the magnetic grid are not powered at the same time to avoid any interference. The Colony 1 CC here will act as surface mission control, and the CCs and the three landing ships will be a base of operations for the supply drop. Batch by batch, we send down capsules of supplies until they're all safely on the surface. Full power up of MGN in Three, two, one, activate. Landing base in the colony one. MGM is online. Begin MGM grid test. You are allowing him to do this. What the hell do you want me to do, Walter? Sam, calm down. Want me to choose someone? Who should I send? You? You want to go? What about you, Pete? Or you, Nada? How do you think I should handle this? Establishing Earth con- contact with Earth established. Establishing Mars contact. Stand by. 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 Suit room M M L H V Scorpion. In orbit around Mars. Copy, you be Paul. Chloe and I are loading the rover, heading back to Colony 1 now. My check, my check. Go ahead, bring up your pre launch procedures. Your meeting is under. Stand by. You are being welcoming party to Scorpion CC. Confirm suit comms check. Good check, Sam. Walter Langston, my check. Good night, Walter. ERB 4 and Colony 1 have finished pre launch checklist and countdowns initiated. We're almost done suiting up, and we'll be in the airlock for deep press shortly. Final CO2 fuel stir complete. Wind is still clear, Colony 1. Copy 4. Skies are clear and stable. Welcoming party is currently suiting up, and they'll be waiting for you outside of the Scorpion. Gotta be nice not worrying about crutches or a wheelchair anymore. <sighs> Fifteen, standing by to fire engines. Your comms are on, Tim. Any parting words for the Red Planet? Pass on it. Great. MPS-1, start command. MPS-2, start command. Oh yeah! MPS-3, start command. MPS-4, start command. MPS-5, start commands. MPS-6, start commands. Drive and be safe. 
Colony 1, over and out. Scorpion to Colony 1. Successful docking of ERV-4 to Scorpion. Successful interface link check and beginning pressurization of airlock. Copy, Scott. Great news. If you don't mind, I think we're going to take a much-needed breather down here. Over and out. Holy shit. I swear, this is one of the longest months of my life. <laughs> yeah. Copy on airlock, depressed Sam. I'm going to get out of the seat and move for the hatch. That was fun. Jesus. I can't believe they brought the whole space station here. Huh. And there's the rocket we're taking. The two-year transit. Whew, hope it's roomier than this thing. I cannot believe my eyes. What the cat dragged in. Fedora Morozov, as I live and breathe. I'm happy to see you, Rachel. And thank you. Oh, right. Him. Attention. This is Commander Tim Conrad of mech 2 He's under restraints and will not be released from them under any circumstances. I am sure you've all been briefed on the acts he's committed, so then there should not be any questions as to why. You have specific orders from Commander Jiao Li and myself to not communicate or approach him for any reason. Tim Conrad, you hurt my wife. I think twice at trying to attack me, specialist. Oh, no. I will not attack you, Tim. I think what is in store for you will suffice. You've earned it. Sam, put Tim somewhere until we've got the intercept vehicle ready to go. Copy that. Come on, Tim. Fedora and Captain Wen, get Paul up to speed on today's progress with the intercept vehicle. Walter, we need to resume work on the supply capsules. We have a lot to do, people. Supply capsule batches won't construct themselves. And a reminder, tomorrow you all report to your corresponding landing ships. So make sure you're packed and ready. I hate what you're doing. But I understand, Paul. Thank you. Our best option, huh? It's our only option. <laughs> So be it then. Captain Wynn, let's get suited up. Paul? Go on ahead. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. You said it, Paul. This is the right thing to do, Rachel. I need to do this. Moving on down the checklist, what do we got next? End tests, installing EM tether landing magnets, additional LZ preparation, and sims, sims, sims. While up there, assembly and construction of the Comet Intercept Vehicle, assembly of supply capsules, oh, and sims, sims, and sims. It's only two weeks into the landings. Three simultaneous manned landings. God help us. later. Copy, intercept vehicle. All food and water rations loaded and secured. Pete should be finishing up the latest guidance for you now. A few more moments, Abby. Now we'd be more than happy to escort you through the airlock, Tim. Now sit down and shut up. Updated guidance should be uploaded to your servers. Stand by, Abby. Checking now. You don't have to worry yourself over that, Sam. 
I'll have more than enough time to go over the numbers. You will, but I won't. I'm going to be checking the guidance and navigation until I can't. Fair enough. Make sure I'm not going to crash into any orbiting convertibles while you're at it, too. Commander Flink, both Scorpion and Tarantula crews are ready for undocking procedures. Right. I got it. Intercept vehicle to Centipede. We copy you, Commander Lee. Walter, Rachel, and the Morozevs will be heading to their ships in a moment. Guidance and navigations check out. Fedor, how are the rest of the supplies coming? Locking the rest of the medical supply packs in place. Nita, the carbon dioxide filters? CO2 filters nominal. Excellent. This is it then, huh? Look at us. Almost all that's left of MECT-1. And we're set to grow even fewer. How are the crews, Rachel? I know the simulations didn't produce the most successful outcome. We'll be ready to go. Right, Fedor? They're ready? As ready as they will ever be. There's nothing else they can learn within this time frame from simulations. Once the supply landings are complete, we'll drill them as much as we can to make sure. Good. Remember, the... Parachute deploy and sky crane burn is going to give the ship a heavier jolt than you're expecting, and it may bounce your positioning off slightly. Yep. We know, Paul. Okay. Just be on the lookout. Be ready. Will you be ready? Yeah. This should be a cakewalk compared to landing. Point the ship to Jupiter, engine burn, adjust, engine burn, adjust. And stay alive long enough for the course correction. Yeah. You gotta get to your ships, guys. The clock's ticking, unfortunately. Right. I understand the reasons you claim for what you are doing, Paul. Though, I do not accept it. I cannot. This is the last moment we will see each other. And it doesn't need to be. Fedor, it's too late. You know this is a mistake, Paul. You know it. We also recognize why you're doing this. Why you're really doing it. You're better than this. We need you here. Not on a rocket to Jupiter with Tim Conrad. This is such a grave misstep, Paul. You're capable of so much more. I understand your sentiments, Nada. Uh, Walter, I understand. Someone needs to pilot this. And I'm the best suited. The best suited. Commander Flynn. The Tarantula and the Scorpion ships are waiting. Status, over. We're on our way, Commander Lee. Be there in a minute. Out. <sighs> I won't launch until you all land on Amazonas Planitia. I'll be in the centipede for the supply landing, and we'll be observing the landings from orbit. After launch, anytime you want to talk, I will always be up for a video chat. I'll have the time. Until you don't. Everyone, we need to get going. We just reunited, and this... No way. This is the only way, Paul. I'm sorry, Rachel. I know, Walter, but I need to know. You don't. This will never change things, Paul. Yes, it will change. You should be back on the surface working with Chloe, getting on your feet. Not this. That's what Beth would want. I... I... I'm sorry, Nada. I, I... This is the right thing to... I need to do this. You realize you are weakening the mission with this suicide run, don't you? It's so clear this is the wrong move. I'm sorry, Fedor. I don't like this either. Come on, guys. We need to get going. Well, good luck, I guess. Don't fuck this up. Colony One, Amazonas Planitia, Mars. All right, let's begin. Pete, have them power up the MGN, please. Colony One to MGN. Chloe and Kaya, you will go for MGN activation. Copy, Pete. Power it up. Okay. Reading full power here. Ask for confirmation. Detecting full 
Possible activation of magnetic guidance network colony one. Please confirm. Scorpion all channels. Walter Langston here, ready for supply drop operations. Final supply badge comms check. Copy, Rachel. Commencing final check. Tarantula on all channels. Fedor Morozov, go for supply drops. Data Morozov, we are go. Send the beat to all channels. Eva Murphy, go for supply drop. Stand by for green light from Colony 1. Breathing up on intercom, Scott. Colony 1, go for centipede. MGN online and ready for supply batch retrieval. Awaiting check from all landers before go, no go order. Tarantula, standing by to send supply batch 1. Scorpion is standing by for supply batch 2. <sighs> Nervous? <sighs> Maybe. Commence supply drop operations. <sighs> time to see if this was all just a waste of time. Acknowledged. Primary thruster descent burn commencing. Nada, prepare for pitch adjustment. Copy. Sending batch 2 now. Not missing it, am I? Just underway. Thruster on batch 1. Executing pitch adjustment on batch 1. Batch 3 prep for primary thruster burn. FBI detected on batch 1. I don't know what's crazier. Landing thousands of tons of supplies at once or three simultaneous manned landings. <laughs> what about playing bumper cars with a comet? Yeah, on batch two. One, 9,000 meters and drop batch three. Come on. Come on. Batch one prepped and ready to send. Awaiting visual on batch one. Uh, nothing yet. Heaven PM on batch two. Copy on batch four. Thrust copy. Successful parachutes on batch one. Thruster auto fire countdown initiated. Wait. Huh? Is that? Do you see anything? I... Yes. Colony 1, visual on batch 1. Six. Copy on batch 1, visual. Neda, batch 5. Batch 5, pitch adjustment almost complete. Full power up. Let me know when we're at 2,000 meters. Batch 1, positioning stable at 98%. Executing clockwise roll. 9 kilometers. Go for batch 6, Colony 1. Batch 1 at 2600 meters. Batch 4 at 7.9 km. ADI on 5. Stand by for go on Mag Grid 1. Moment of truth. Batch 6. Standing by on Mag Grid 1. Batch 2 steady. Looking good, Colony 1. Stand by. 2000 meters. Activate. Mag Grid 1 at full power. Visual on batch 1 EM. Mag grid 2 ready for activation. Mag grid 1 at full power and holding. Prepping mag grid 3. Batch 2, 2200. Batch 8 prepped and ready. Memory thruster going batch 8. Batch 2 at 2000 meters. Batch 6, 9.2 km. Mag grid 2 at full power. Visual on EM deployment on batch 2. Batch 2. 1700, batch 8, AEI, batch 4, 4.8, batch 6, 6.5, batch 100, batch 5 at 7.1, batch 7 at 11.3, batch 1, 21, 100 meters and dropping. Come on, don't make all this be for nothing. Come on, land that fucker. 121, 100 meters. Batch 2 at 1190, holding steady. 40, 30. 20, 10, 5, batch 1 engine cut, batch 2, 750 run, batch 1 reporting, cargo intact and on the ground, fuck oh, yeah, yeah, repeat, Activate batch back 1 three. is safe on the surface, batch 2, successful landing, go for mag grid 4, access, forward, that's right, parachute is deployed, it's working, standing by on the, it's working, batch 2, shutdown confirmed, Scorpion, send batch 10. Batch 3 at 420. Batch 5 at 3.1 km. Confirm parachutes on batch 7. Batch 7 at 7.7. 7. Clear for batch Got 9. Batch 10, thruster burn. I never thought this would ever work. <laughs> batch 9. You're not alone, but. Batch 10, thruster cut. Pitch adjustment in progress. Parachute deploy on batch 8. Batch 3 at 116. Batch 5 at 2.3. 
Uh, 76.1. I'm going to step out for a bit. You got everything under control? Yeah, go ahead. 1562. Thanks, Commander. Right, you thrust the burn cut to pitch adjustment for batch 9. Not listening in on the supply drop operations. Doesn't concern me. None of my business. Yeah. You got a point there. Hard to think. Every morsel of everything the human race will ever need from Earth is now landing on the surface of Mars. <laughs> Fool's errand. I never thought I'd find myself in orbit again. When do Paul and I launch? Soon. Good. Sick of all this? Yeah. Well. You got any time to familiarize yourself with the controls we designed? You're joking, right? Yeah. Dumb question. He says you've been assisting with navigations and system tests. Sure. Hmm. Thanks. Supply drops should be complete within the next 20 minutes or so. Then comes the issue of crew landings and the intercept launch. Anything I can do to get the hell away from all you people? Bad boy, Tim. Confirm batch 10 landings. Deactivate grid 10, Kaya. Chloe, stand by to activate mag grid 13. Batch 14, that's 1.9 km. Yeah, four parachutes on 19. Copy on batch 17, parachute deployed. Send 21. Mag grid 10 deactivated. Grid 12 holding and steady. Activate grid 13 and steady. Standing by to activate mag grid 16. 50 meters on batch 11. 30. Thrusters 4 on batch 16. Parachute jettison on batch 16. Grid 13 activated. Batch 18. Parachute deploy on batch 20. Batch 14 at 908 meters. Batch 16 at 4.2. Batch 18. 5.9. Batch 20 at 7.5. Successful landing on batch 11. Confirm. Right, right. Parachutes on batch 18. Right. Awaiting AEI on batch 22. Confirm batch 11 landing. still see a sliver of the melted ice cap peeking into Diagria. Probably frozen over again by now. Yeah. Maybe. Not permafrost, though. We are a sorry lot. The two of us. Won't argue that. What did we accomplish here, Tim? Lord knows we did not achieve most of the objectives we set out to reach. us wasted that great idea that millions died for. <sighs> when you first arrived on Mars, after the mess I made of things, I was optimistic that things would get better. Sorry to disappoint, Sam. We let them down. That's the biggest disappointment of all. Perhaps when we were vying for command, the board of administrators never asked the most important question of all. <sighs> How would we handle losing a loved one? Losing a wife? So much trouble could have been avoided had they asked the right questions. Though they aren't wholly to blame, I never thought I'd crack the way I did. At least now, working to amend those past transgressions in our own ways. How long do you think until the radiation takes me? I'm not a doctor, Rob. You won't make it to Jupiter. That's just dandy. What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. Power down grid 23, Chloe. Copy. Deactivating now. Grid 23 off 
line, visual on 25, awaiting visual on batch 27. Batch 26, quality 1, standing by for grid 26 activation, visual on batch 24 EM. We're landing on batch 24. All on batch 28. Jettison parachute to jettison on 28. Point 4 kilometer. Tether on 26. Just about there. Point 8 kilometer. 20. 10. Touchdown on 25. Cut thrusters. Cutting thrusters. Confirm touchdown. Stand by for 25 landing confirmation. Bash 27 at 2.6 kilometers and dropping. Confirmed activation of grid 28. Chloe power down grid 25. Kaya, status at grid Almost finished everyone. Almost there! Copy that. Successful landing of Batch 26. Copy visual on 28. Batch 27 at 310, 281. 28 at 1.1 kilometers. Come on! Visual on 28 EM tether. Batch 27 reading 170 meters. 120. Grid 27 holding steady. Let's finish this. 275 for grid 27 deactivate. Successful EM tether link. Retracting now. 15, 10, Touchdown on batch 27. Confirm touchdown. Awaiting orders for grid 27 shutdown. 800 meters, I'm dropping. Come on. 800 meters. 800 meters. Come on. Almost. 279. Come on. Tether retracting perfectly. Magnetic connection still full strength. 217 meters. Standing by to shut thrusters. Wait for his cue, good one. Mag grid 27, shutdown confirmed. Great one. 183 meters. Almost. 55 meters. Minor wind from north northwest. Almost. 90 meters. Doing good, Walter. Almost there. 50 meters. 50 meters. Adjustment complete. Bullseye on target. 20 meters. Emergency back grid 28 shut down. Contact thrusters, Walter. Confirm successful landing, Kaya. Touchdown. Batch 28 is on the surface. <laughs> confirm batch 28 intact. Batch 28 confirm successful landing. Commander Lee, 
get Captain Kirsch up to speed on landing procedures. Paul, they need you now. Scorpion to intercept vehicle, come in. Quality one to intercept vehicle, pick up. Sam. Paul. Launch controls, guidance, stability onboard systems. Whole shebang's up and ready. Should be in position momentarily. Intercept vehicle to Colony 1. Abby, can you patch my comms to all channels, please? Can't you check these numbers? Are you serious? Please. You on all channels, intercept vehicle. Get Colony 1 back on comms, Felix. Is he really doing what I... He's really... Sam, this is Walter. Can you please... To all those on MECT-1, MECT-2, and everyone who went through the most indescribable horrors to get here, I am sorry for all the hardships you've had to endure, but I wanted to thank you for all you've done in the face of them. Each act, you've raised the bar and made the impossible seem routine. I am in your debt. I have decided to switch places with Captain Paul Kirsch. What? I will be leading the Comet Intercept mission, while Paul Kirsch will be piloting the centipede during its landing sequence. Is this... Wait, is he... Is he serious? Paul is the better pilot, with actual first-hand experience landing an MMLHV on the surface of Mars. What the fuck? Does that mean that Sam's... Wait... I made a number of remarkably poor decisions as commander, with grave consequences. The mere existence of this kinetic intercept mission and the ship I now speak to you from is a result of a poor decision. Yes, this is the right sequence file. Thank you, May. This one-way mission was not something I could order any member of my crew on, nor could I realistically accept a volunteer to take part in my mess. Shifty bastard, Sam. I knew all along this was my mission. You're going to do great. Look up to your crewmates for wisdom and guidance. Commander Jowdy, any questions, concerns, problems that may arise, she'll know what to do. Godspeed and good luck. Thank you. Intercept vehicle. Over and out. Final pre-launch checklist complete. Charging FAL now. MCI looks good. Guidance has been double-checked by Colony 1. Everything looks perfect. This is Nina and Fedor. We really you have MMLHV be. landing operations to worry about. Get yourselves and everyone on your ship to the surface. That's my final order. Sam, please. Be safe. Over and out. <sighs> Go for Sam. 
go for Sam. This was your plan from the start? You led Paul on this whole time? No, yes, Walter. But now is the time to look to the future. You need to get down there and be with Abby. Sam, can we please discuss this? Rhea, Walter, that's your priority now. All that matters is getting you and your crew down there. Sam, please. You're going to need Abby's help. Over and out, Walter. Rhea? That's her name. The first child born on Mars. Let's see how this thing handles. Fusion activation laser fully charged. Red men powered up. Talk one go. Talk two go. Talk three go. Talk four go. Talk five go. Talk six go. Firing FAL. Mark. 2H inject. Mark. Whew. 2H plasma achieved. Here goes nothing. HE3 inject. Mark. 